Good day, everyone. My name is Dr. David Amron, and welcome to Lippy Logic. I am the host of Lippy Logic. Today's segment is going to look at what is lipedema. Lipedema is a fat storage disease that is, as we know, very underrecognized around the world. It was identified a long time ago, 1940, at the Mayo Clinic in a couple papers, um, really good in terms of defining what it is by Allen and Hines, but it was pretty much ignored and forgotten about. It is characterized as a fat disorder, like many other fat disorders, such as Durkheim's disease, Madelung's disease, benign familial lipomatosis. We're gonna go into the pathophysiology of this later on, and why it is not so simple that it's only a fat disorder. It has specific signs and symptoms that we're gonna discuss in later segments. Epidemiology, this is the crazy thing. It, it affects a lot of women. Between 10 to 11% of women have varying degrees of lipedema. And that means uh, 17 million American women have it, and 370 million women worldwide have lipedema. It is uh, uh, genetically inherited, as we're gonna again talk about in another segment. Um, it's pretty much unresponsive to diet and exercise. This is the, 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 the crazy thing. It presents at a very sensitive age, puberty. It, it then slowly progresses. Uh, patients are told just to go lose weight. They're dealing with a whole stigma of, of shame and blame and told by even healthcare professionals just go lose weight. But it pretty much is unresponsive to diet and exercise as we're gonna talk about. Along with that, people go down what I call the rabbit hole of other different therapies as we're gonna look into in different segments. Um, but why was, it, why was it not paid attention to early on? Well, I have my thoughts about it. I think one of it is that lipedema is a bad name. It's number one, a little bit inaccurate, but it also sounds like a made up disease and it gets confused with lymphedema a lot. And, and I think that had it been taught in medical school, it would have made itself into our Rolodex of diseases that we learned in medical school and been something that doctors always knew about. Instead it wasn't. And when, when doctors then try to go back, when they hear about it, they say, well, I never heard about lipedema and they don't think it really exists. I've actually suggested that we could have called it lipofibroedema. It actually sounds like a real disease. It's a little bit more accurate in terms of what's going on. So hopefully that gives you a, an overview of what lipedema is. Uh, but again, we're gonna go into a lot of detail in further segments about all the genetics, the signs and symptoms, the types of lipedema, the stages of lipedema, the my thoughts on the pathophysiology of lipedema, and of course, therapy for lipedema and prevention. Thank you for tuning in. This is Dr. David Amron, the host of Lippy Logic at the Lippy Lounge. For further information about my unique way of treating this disease, please go to advancedlipidemiatreatment.com for more information about how to get involved in lipedema. But get involved in lipedema. Share, subscribe, share it with friends, and um, thank you for tuning in.